Don't grab it. Don't reach for anything. I'm not reaching for nothing, man. He's got a gun! <laughs> Hi everyone, Donut here. Today we're going to be breaking down a shootout, an ambush actually, where a guy jumped out of his car and started shooting at two Charleston, South Carolina police officers. One of the officers was struck three times, but he stayed in the fight. Like I said, this took place in Charleston, South Carolina, one of my favorite places on earth. If you've never been there, the food scene is absolutely insane. Well, I just got back from Dallas. I went up there for a charity event with Mr. Jet Tila and Brandon Herrera. I went a Glock at an auction. It's pretty cool. I don't have it yet or I'd show you. And Brandon even on for the CIA. Yeah, I could be in the CIA. Anyways, let's continue with shootings. Let's talk about old people. Well, our sponsor that can help old people and you and young people. Our sponsor for this video is Guardio or Guard.io. Last time we talked about how it can help your teenager from looking up anime and getting viruses. This time, let's talk about how stupid old people are. I'm just kidding. They're not stupid. There's, you know, they didn't grow up with the internet like we did. Who uses Facebook? Old people. That's right. There's a new form of scams going around on Facebook called malware posting. There are legitimate ads that bad people pay for to get pushed to everyone and when they're clicked on they got your information you got scammed check this out this is what it looks like just a normal everyday ad on facebook listen here i might have gotten on my nana's computer once or twice and held down Control alt down arrow flip the screen upside down and hold her solitaire game hostage until she took me to walmart but at least i didn't serve her false ads on facebook hoping to steal her credit card information protect your old people you know what's cool when you sign up for guardio you can have five different family members on it so you can protect all your old people you can do a scan on their computer like i just did and saw that oh cool 11 and information leaks. Wonderful. How many information leaks does Nana have, huh? That's right. Guardio can show you how exposed you are. They'll do that scan for free. And if you sign up for it, they'll help you from downloading malicious content, clicking on phishing links and emails and harmful pop-ups. You know, your grandpa is going to click on the first pair of big <coughs> CCs. Click on the link in the description and comments below or go to guard.io slash donut operator to get 20% off your subscription. If you just want to try it out though, it's got a seven day free trial. Protect those geriatric <coughs> today with Guardio. Now let's do some shootings. May 7th, 2023. Charleston, South Carolina. Seriously, check out the restaurant Husk by Chef Sean Brock if you go there. What we got here is a common everyday traffic stop. Savannah Highway northbound turning into the Farmhouse Antiques. It's a black for Crown Big two times. It's a paper tag. I'll get the GMS. So police tip, you cannot pull over a car just for looking like it's gonna have drugs and guns in it. Doesn't work like that. You can pull it over for swerving like the officer says here in a second. But if you do happen to pull over a completely blacked out decommissioned police cruiser Crown Vic with paper plates, there's probably gonna be drugs and guns in it. It's kind of hilarious how those cars end up after being one of the best police cars in the history of police cars. You can fight me on that statement. Don't come at me with some Ford Explorer bullshit. Ah. It's like the meme where the dog dies and he says, was I a good dog? And Death says, no, you were a great dog. Then they enter the pearly gates. But instead it's a Crown Vic. And it's like, was I a good police car? And Death says, no, you were a great police car. But the Crown Vic, instead of walking through the pearly gates with Death, it gets sucked back to hell where it gets hotboxed by ah. weed, pulled over 800 times, covered in black ice air freshener tags, then finally finds peace when cops shoot it to death after a high-speed pursuit. Irony, am I right? You either die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. Continuing on with Charleston. The initial officer, Deputy Cabbage, Cubbage, Deputy Cubbage. No, I think his new name is Cabbage. We're gonna call him Cabbage. He walks up to the passenger side of the vehicle, pro gamer move, and is super nice to the occupants of the vehicle. He is a sweet, young Southern boy, kind of like me. So he walks up to the passenger side and he's so nice. He says, hey, what's going on y'all? And then quickly explains why they were pulled over. Hey, what's going on, y'all? Hey, man. Deputy Kelby Charles County Sheriff's Office. The reason I pulled you over, all right, is your improper lane use. You're all over the road. Back and um, back and forth. My car is running lights. I was trying to find a place to pull over. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, do you have um, your registration insurance? Why do you have gloves on? Why does he have gloves on? That looks like a pretty hot South Carolina day right there. Well, the traffic stop continues for a couple of minutes. Backup arrives and backup also walks to the passenger side door. I'm guessing the suspect who is in the passenger seat sees the officer walking up and knew he was definitely screwed when the officer says, hey man, step out of the car. It could have been a warrant. It could have been that it was a felon in possession of a firearm because there's about to be a gunfight and he just didn't want to go to jail. They haven't stated what exactly it was, but either way, this is how the suspect thought was the 
smartest way to handle this situation. All right, hey, hop out. Hop out. Don't grab. Don't I'm reach not, for anything. I'm not reaching for nothing, man. He's got a gun. <laughs> Hey, I'm hit! I'm hit! He's down! I'm hit! Well, that happened in the blink of an eye. Let's break it down just a little bit. Cabbage tries to stop Dude from reaching, sees the gun, calls it out, and by that time, Dude was pointing it at Cabbage, so it looks like he goes to grab cover at the rear of the car. Second deputy doesn't skip a beat and starts dumping on the guy. It looks like, from the suspect's facial expression and demeanor, that he does get struck at that very first burst. Dude tries to jump back into the car, but by this time, Deputy Cabbage has his gun out and is blasting him through the windshield right over the screaming lady in the driver's seat. Remember, it can't be a police incident without a screaming lady i should do a screaming lady compilation oh no suspect gets hit a couple of more times falls out and continues to fire at the secondary officer as cabbage runs around the front of the car limping by this time he's been shot three times the crossfire here scared the crap out of me because cabbage runs right behind the suspect exactly where the second deputy is shooting big old pucker factor right there again not shooting on anyone great training visual right there it's complex high speed situations things like that happen sometimes that's what training's for cabbage stops sees the suspect still shooting and one-handed pops the suspect right in the top of the head a couple times finally ending the threat i can tell it was the top of the head shot you can see that on my uh, unedited raw police footage channel that'll be in the description because he's a little leaky there's some brains coming out he definitely Definitely did a fucky wucky and got put in the forever box on this traffic stop. The female's having a hard problem comprehending what's going on and nearly steps backwards into traffic. Thankfully for her, there wasn't a semi truck barreling by at 70 miles an hour. Wouldn't that have been a fucking scene? The crazy thing about this video is it looks like the suspect was directing his fire on the second deputy the whole time, not Cabbage who ran around the front of the car. But it was Cabbage that got struck at least once in the knee and then somewhere else because you can hear him say, I got hit in the knee. Reports didn't specify, but he was taken to the hospital with serious but non life threatening injuries and released just five hours later. I wish you a speedy recovery, Cabbage. So guys, in the comments below, let's have some rational, calm discussion on how you think the officers handled the situation. Do you think they did good? Do you think they could have improved some aspects of it? Do you also think that the Crown Vic is the best police car to ever bless this earth? Because it f***ing is. Fight me. That's all I have for you fine people today. If you want to help support the channel, I sounded like Fat Electrician right there when you, when you get to talking fast. Today we're going to talk about <laughs> uh, DonutOperator.com. That's what I was trying to get to. Get some super sweet merch. Subscribe to me on every other platform. I love you guys. As always, have a fantastic day. Back.